I'm gonna work on the weights of this character. Um, so, uh, problem being that the bottom of the shirt does not move with the leg. Um, so I'll select this surface, right mouse click, paint, skin cluster, skin cluster paint weights. Let's see if we can right mouse click on the appropriate joint. Doesn't seem to want to let me do that, so um, let's uh, double click on the paint weights tool and find the hip left. Um, okay. And probably it's going to be a little easier to select the vertices to do this, so I'm going to um, select these edge rows. And maybe this one. That's probably enough. Okay, and control. Oops. Control right mouse click two vertices, two vertices. We'll convert that selection to vertices. And then to my paint weights tool. Once again, I have the left hip selected. Um, I'm going to scroll down and replace with a value of one flood. So what we have now is it's going to move with it too much and both sides of the shirt are moving with it but that's okay we'll fix that in a minute. So now let's go back into vertices it remembers my selection here um, and uh, I might, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and smooth just those. So I'm going to change my operation to smooth and flood. Maybe one more time. Okay. Let's see how that bends now. I'm using control spacebar to get rid of the rest of the interface. Okay, it looks weird, I think, because the, uh, both sides are moving. So problems we have left now are that let's try to Yeah, there's still a little bit of movement. Now the problem it now is with the top of this inside surface. Ideally it would be better to not have any of that be part of the because you don't really need those if you don't see them and they go all the way up in there. It just makes for more work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick this edge loop here and this one. Um, convert to vertices and see what we've got going on here. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to uh, grow the selection, um, and the uh, way to do that is under Polygon Select. You have a uh, Grow Selection Region, and the hotkey is the Greater Than sign, so let's see if that works for us. Did I go too far? I went a little too far. But see, that's getting that whole weird inside surface for me. I'm going to control select these guys and those guys. Mm, looks like I got most of that inside stuff. So now um, I don't want the light controlling any of that inside thing because that's going to make it poke through. So um, what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll, what I'll do is go back into the paint weights tool, and I basically I don't want that hip to have any influence on that. So I'm going to go. Yeah, I've got the hip still selected. Let's go to shaded mode so we can see that that white part there means it has influence. And let's just um, 
It's a little risky, but I'm going to replace with a value of zero. So we don't know for sure where it'll put those weights if I weight it to that, but at least we know it won't have it on the hip. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so that problem just went away, and now let's see what happens when we move this foot around. Okay, we don't have that poking through anymore. Excellent. Go to zero here. And now... Uh, I thought there was one more issue. Or was that it? Oh, yeah, this is still... Alright. I mean, that's... The thing is, it's like, you don't necessarily have to have this work for every possible scenario. That's pretty far to pull the leg backward. So, um, you could goof around if you wanted to spend some time on the weights of this, like those verts right there that are poking through. You could have them be weighted, increase their weight on that joint so that they bend more with it. I guess let's just go ahead and do that. Honestly, I don't think you'll be bending the leg back this far, but just for fun, let's go back into the tool. And so now we want to increase... The, yeah, it's a little bit gray. It's not very white. It's not as white as the stuff near it. So let's just add a little bit of time. I'm going to go to Add, Value. I'll just do 0.1, Flood, Flood, Flood. And because there's not a lot of surface detail here, um, there, you know, you kind of want another row there, <laughs> ideally, to, to get this. So, uh, you could weight these guys a little bit more, like just a touch, like this next row. Let's see what happens when we give that a touch of control right mouse click to vertices. Let's try just adding a bit to the hip there. We've got add 0.1 flood. Hmm. Oh, no, it's already moving 100% with that. So that's because it's weighted to the next joint down, so... Yeah. I mean, the only thing left to do without having more geometry here would actually be to decrease the weight on that. So, you know, we've improved it slightly. Um, let's just... Uh, let's call that good enough. Okay. And the other thing... I was... I guess that's it. Okay. So let's zero that out. Now, if we're lucky, and when we mirror the weights, um, it'll fix it for both sides. So, um, animation, skin, mirror, skin, weights, options. Um, so it's across the YZ plane. So this, you know, Y and Z form like a plane that we're mirroring across. And we're going, this X is pointing in this direction, so this is the positive side over here. So we're going from the positive side to the negative side, and mirror. So let's take a look now how this one's doing. Um, okay, let's move in all right with it. And let's look at how this one is moving. All right. And I get, you know, it's better, but uh, now we're dealing with a situation where um, it's just it just needs to be smoothed in the middle of the touch because it's too harsh of a, a abrupt change between the two sides. So um, let's see what happens if we flood with smooth here. I might want to undo this, but let's just see. I'm again on that left tip. Yeah, that might have been too much, but let's see. I just did it once. Let's see how it's moving now. Mm, kind of by that. Still got a little bit of intersection issue here. Yeah, really, what I would really want is more detail there, because otherwise I have to decrease the weight on this area, which I suppose I could try. Let's try that real quick, just as an experiment. Um, so, yeah, there's some funny geometry thing here. I mean, the other thing is you have the, the inside poking through the outside, which is not good. But anyway, I might take, like, a vert here, and then I'm going to do um, 
greater than sign to grow selection. Mm -hmm. Okay, that did a pretty good area. And let's, um, so we want this to move a little, what am I, what am I doing here? Yeah, see if that moves a little bit less with the leg, it won't go as far back and then maybe won't intersect. Okay, I buy that, let's try that. Um, so, oops, I lost my selection. Um, so we pick this vert and we did greater than, and that got us a pretty good selection there. And we're going to, uh, decrease the weight a bit. So for that I'm going to use scale and a value of 0.9 so it'll be like you know nine tenths of the weight each time I hit flood. Okay that's lower and still ah uh, I don't have a very good selection. I'm going to undo that because I didn't get to all the points I needed. Um, I really need, it's really tough getting in here. this guy and that guy. And let's go to um, wireframe. Oof, sort of a tangled mess here to see what we're doing. Okay. And then here. And then there. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, because now I have the full fold going inside, which I didn't have before. Okay, so let's try that again. Paint weights tool, uh, scale 0.9, flood. All right, let's see what that did. Maybe less bad. Let's do a little bit more. one more. Okay. Um, that's a little better. Undo. Could try a little bit more. One more? Okay, that might be too much. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a reasonable compromise. Okay. So let's um, mirror again, and same setting should be fine. Oh, joint must be selected. What did I do? Skeleton. Oh, sorry, not skeleton. Skin. Mirror skin weights. Okay. Okay, now we uh, repeat the problem we had before of the abrupt change between left and right side. Um, but besides that, we're looking pretty good. So let's try the smooth trick again. Um, you know, try and flood with smooth. So you, I might mess some up some other stuff, but let's give it a shot. Okay, and let's do the same thing on the other side. And hopefully that'll make that less abrupt and still work otherwise. Yeah. I don't really like how that's peaking there. Um, it's interesting that it seems to be working better for the right side than the left side. It should really be the same. But maybe the smooth act differently for one side than the other. Um, so we could take a look at this, see what's going on here. Um, what I might do is add a little bit of weight back to the uh, root joint here. See if that fixes that. So let's go into the paint weights tool and yeah, the root. And let's just add a bit back a little bit. Just do point one at a time. Uh, add. Point one, point one, 
flood, flood, flood. Okay. Yeah, that seemed to get rid of that peak problem there. Okay, let's reset that to zero. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to save this. And, uh, yeah, you don't need to watch that. So, there you go.